What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Deluxe Wave 4. At least I'm going to call that. Not sure if this is Wave 4 or not. But we get two Deluxe figures here where we have the Mighty Morphin Rita Repulsa. So just a redo of Rita. We had her before, especially in like that marriage pack with her and Zed. But we have her in a single release this time just as the Deluxe. So comes with a little bit more details and stuff. We'll do a comparison between the older figures. Comes with their staff. Looks like it has more designs on to and stuff and effects there. And if we spin it around, we can see her and then all the accessories she's going to come with. With. so she has some face plates and stuff which is pretty cool so that overall just looks really cool and like i said we'll do a comparison just to see what's different between the two and love the box art design with that like artwork on the side that looks really cool and then we also have the mighty minotaur from mighty morphin which looks really cool of course we saw more recently in the once and always as a robot version but this as the classic version looks really cool so just like a big bull guy it looks pretty cool with a shield and a club and everything and the big horns again nice artwork on the side and if we spin around to the back we can see the figure and then all the accessories it's going to come with and really cool that it comes with like a little finster clay model version is really cool so i'm excited for him mostly out of this pack so let me go and get these open we'll take a look at them together so let's start off with Rita Repulsor, who was a sorceress released from her 10,000 year imprisonment and resumes her attempt to conquer Earth, but is continuously thwarted by Zordon and his teenage Power Rangers. So she looks pretty cool here. You know, it looks like the Rita we've had before, just obviously more details and I guess more accurate. Now I can't decide if I like this one fully compared to the other one. Like obviously I like the more correctness with much better like paint jobs and stuff. So we definitely see, of course, with the face, a much better looking face. The hair all looks nice where it's a different color. Like I said, I'll show you that comparison where this time it's like a metallic-y sort of silverish gray color with the wrappings all the way around to get the two different like hair separation there. So that's cool with the brown wrappings. And then the band around her head with the nice gold and like red jewel there in the center and the bands that come down around and the gold all look pretty nice there. The color around her neck, so it's got like this color with like the star designs and the blue feathers or whatever there going around. Looks pretty nice into her chest piece where she's got the cone breasts and stuff and looks pretty crazy, but more details and stuff on it with the gold as we'll see with the comparison. Then we get the brown dress dress that looks you know relatively slimmer the sleeves and stuff are more baggy and I think the overall dress is a little bit like wider and has more material it has a nice like sewn line down here at the bottom so nice him to keep that all together and then the details this time are in gold instead of silver like they were on the first one so that's a little bit better and then we just can switch it around here to the back and see it's mostly just black on the vest and then has the white like feathery stuff there hanging down around there as well and of course she has like the gold bands and stuff there around on her wrist and then rings on her fingers there as well so she looks overall you know looks exactly like Rita so nothing too surprising there but like I said I can't really decide because I think the brown is like outfit like dress thing is a little bit too puffy and too much material and stuff which is usually the case for me when any figures have actual fabric material it seems like they always do too much material but I love the accuracy of all this so it's like I could switch and mix and match between the characters if I want but I do like having the gold design since that's more accurate as a compared to the silver that's on the other one but I like the overall fit of the dress of the other one much better but like I said I'll show you that comparison here towards the end but overall she just looks nice the way she is you know like I said it almost looks exactly accurate as she does in the show but let's do her movements first so the head can twist around so we can twist all the way around there and she can look down that far so pretty much where it is just because of the gold pieces on her head and then up a little bit there so not the best movements ever because of like the you know stuff getting in the way but it still does move there the shoulders do come up and so it's going to be hard especially with all this dress material and stuff so it's hard to get her shoulders up and you have to try and push them down I can't really get the shoulders even found but they do come up to 90 so it'll go there and it has the butterfly joint so it goes back and forth and of course they do rotate around but again hard to figure out where the joint is to get up the twist all the way around and then she does have a single elbow joint that can bend to pretty much 90 and has the rotation in it now I do know all this because I already took all this stuff off and got the dress off her and stuff because her shoulders were both stuck like out to the side in the box and of course now I can't get this one to go back down where it needs to be so I took all this stuff off to be able to get it readjusted adjusted and so now it's of course getting messed up again but I do know all the joints that's gone there so like I said it does have the single elbow joint and then we go down to the wrist that can twist all the way around and then flex back and forth then it does have the normal joints so it has like the nab crunch right under the chest so it can crunch back and forth and twist around in there and then has more of the crunch at the waist as well so it can crunch even further back and forth then we can go and lift the dress up I guess we could be doing that to show you most of it so then we get the hips that can come up to 90 and then out to the side so pretty much do the splits of course has those drop down hips you got to get them pushed back up in there 
thigh twist all the way around and the double knee joint that can bend up to the back it may be hard with all the material I guess it only bends up that far to the back a shin twist at the top of the boot and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side so overall pretty decent movements of course it's hard with all the stress and material and stuff to really get the joints all to work out and even like I said when I took the dress off and everything the joints aren't really the best they're just pretty much like the most basic joints and stuff there are so nothing too fancy for it but it works out which is I guess all that matters but with this breed of being deluxe we do get a bunch of extra accessories so first we get some extra hands so we get a fist hand as well as a grip hand so you can be able to you know hold her staff and everything which she already has that grip hand on so we just have one for the left and then we do have some oh, another open hand so one for the right this time and then a pointing hand so she can be yelling at the rangers or whatever she wants there so that's pretty cool coming with those additional hands that fit very good for Rita and then what's really cool is we get some face plates to be able to switch out her face so she has just like a normal sort of like smiling face off there so then we have this face where it's more like she's angry or like worried about something probably has one of her headaches or whatever so we have that face as well as a face where she's just like cackling laughing there with the mouth open so those look pretty cool so let's go and switch these out we'll go and put this one off with like the gritted teeth first and overall they're pretty easy to switch out you just barely get your finger around the face there and just pull and like mine at least fall off pretty easily so I'm worried they're just gonna fall off by themselves but they seem to stick on pretty well so there she has the worried face so again so pretty nice to be able to switch all these different faces out and get different expressions and then here she is with the laughing face so probably the face I would use just because that seems to fit more with Rita so very cool to have the different face plates to be able to switch out and like I said I'll probably just be using that one and as I mentioned she has her magic wand or her staff whatever she has here so this one obviously looks better than the first one as well because it has much more details with the gold painted on and the blue details and all that sort of stuff so overall this looks much better as well so that looks really cool so let's go and put this into her hand so there's Rita with the staff so of course that always looks really cool and with this we also get the Hasbro effect of this purple lighting or pink lighting but unfortunately it got all bent up in the box so it's all out of shape and stuff but you can obviously just take this and slide it on the end of the staff but I think she looks just fine the way she is there and of course looks just like Rita so pretty awesome to have her here and of course like I said we have had her in the past from that two pack with Zed so there's the old one so the face obviously looks much better on the new one so that's one big improvement and like I said some of the coloring you can see especially like on her chest area has much more gold on the new one the staff has a lot more painted onto it and everything so it looks much better but overall like I said the dress on this one fits much nicer it's much more form fitting and nice around the arms and stuff but like I said I like this one because it's got the gold which is the proper color compared to the silver so it's just pretty annoying between those because I love the more form fitting dress but I want it in the proper colors and stuff but I just hate how much material there is on this like especially on the arms and of course down around the legs and stuff so I may have to adjust it or something or just get used to it but definitely love this Rita a really good improvement over that first one and definitely love like having the face plates and stuff to switch out to give the different read expressions that fit really good but definitely love having this it's really cool to get as much improvement with this as we did and then we have mighty minotaur which first appeared in season one episode three of teamwork the monster was created by finster that rita sent to stop a garbage dump that she was using to pollute angel grove but he was defeated with the use of the power weapons in the form of the power blaster so he was the first villain to be able to defeated with the power blaster which i guess is pretty cool and overall he looks awesome i do have some minor issues with this that are giving me some issues but one thing i thought was pretty weird is just to me how like overall thin he looks like the face and everything in here looks real thin i feel it should be like more puffed out or something in there and then the overall body feels pretty thin to get like more towards like where they seem pretty thick for what a minotaur should be so it's pretty much just a humanoid bull so he's got the big horns coming out of his head i love how like thick they are and then like all the like striations or lines and stuff they have going through it which are pretty nice and just how thick they are those look crazy we have the face of the bull face there so we have the nose and of course the like greenish color eyes the ears coming off the side and then the fur there up on the head so it's mostly this dark brown color with this tan color fur over the top of it we have a little color piece around the neck and then going continuing down the body so we have a line going down the center and over to the shoulders and then we have some fur there around like his waist piece that has like these leather pieces hanging down and a nice gray color in there going all the way around we got his tail on the back and his thick legs going down to the hooves with some more fur there right before you get to the hooves and then we have some guards on his wrist that have spikes all over him into his hands there so he's got five fingers with sharp claws there as well so he looks really cool like i said just seems to be a little bit like too thin like i said especially in the upper section and around the head i feel should come out a little bit more for that but overall i just think he looks awesome but we'll do the movement so the head can twist all the way around there and it can look down that far so not too far down but just a little bit there and then up a little bit so a little bit of movement back and forth there we get the shoulders that can come up close to 90 because of all the fur it doesn't come all the way 
so just that far with the butterfly joint back and forth and of course rotates all the way around we get a bicep twist and the double elbow joint that bends up that far so over 90 at least so pretty nice with the wrist that'll twist around and this one has a hinge up and down for the hand then we go to the ab crunch so we have an ab crunch in the middle so crunch back and forth and can twist all the way around there and then we have the ab crunch cut out which so we can crunch forward and back there so pretty good with both of those then we go to the hips that'll come up so it can come up pretty much to 90 and then out to the side can do the splits we got a thigh twist that'll twist all the way around the double knee joint that bends up that far to the back so not too bad and then we have a twist at the ankle so it can twist around in there and then of course we get our normal hinge back and forth and twist side to side and then finally his tail also has some movements it's hard to really see up under here but you can get the tail to move back and forth some there so overall decent movements you know not a whole lot of issues or anything with it the only issue I have is the weakness of the ankles which seems to be the biggest issue with the monsters especially so like when I stand him his ankles just like I can give out going forward and back so getting him to stand is quite difficult because he's either falling backwards like that or falling forward so it's hard to really get him into the perfect position for his feet to be able to hold him up and stuff and him not fall back and forth which is annoying but it seems to be to me at least one of the most common issue with the Power Ranger figures but for accessory wise he gets some of the additional hands so we get an additional grip hand for the left and then a fist hand for the right so we have those two hands and then we go to his weapon so first off we have a spike club so this nice club with spikes all over it. again in this all gray material looks like wood so you think it'd be more brown but it's just all gray this time so let's try and put this into his grip hand so there's the club in his hand and then he also comes with a horn shield so we got a shield with the horns all over it again with this gray material on the outside and brown around the inside and underneath we have a nice like spiked handle there so i have to switch that other grip hand out to be able to put this in his left hand so there he's got the shield in his hand as well so there he's all ready to fight the rangers with his club and his shield which looks pretty cool we do also get a hasbro lightning effect so we get this lightning effect that goes up onto his horns so you take this it may be a little bit weird but you take this piece and kind of slide it onto his horn so it has this little hoop here so you just slide it onto one of the horns and then take the other end where there's a little tiny loop on that end as well and just kind of hook it on the other horn there so he's got this lightning coming out of the top there because his horns are able to shoot out a lightning bolt so we have that effect of course i won't keep that on there but it's just to show you that it does come with that and of course now that i've put the weapons in his hands i'm having a really hard time getting him to stand but what i love the most about this is that he also comes with the little clay form of himself so where finster makes him out of clay and then puts him in the machine and he turned to real life so there's what he looks like so there you can see he's got a much bigger head compared to this one so it's much more filled out like bull head and stuff so i wish he looked more like this but love having these little mini figures and stuff especially to go with finster and all that so just need a little setup to put him on and everything but just really cool to have that as well to go along with this so mighty minotaur looks really cool here and then i just decided to bring in snizzard from our last one to show you like height comparison wise of course i do have him crouched a little bit just to stand up but since they were in the once and always show together i decided to bring in snizzard and minotaur before they got turned into their robot versions to go along with robo rita so just really cool that mighty minotaur like i said i do really love the look of think he's awesome nice big and tall we'll see it when i'm bringing rita and stuff but i just wish he like i said had a little bit more filled out around his head and then was able to stand a lot easier because of his stupid feet being too loose but overall he just looks really cool and there together you can see just how tall he is compared to Rita. So he is a really tall figure and awesome to just see how big he is. So definitely worthy of a deluxe. So that's going to be it for our deluxe wave 4 figures where we got the new Rita which looks really nice with all the more details and stuff. So like I said definitely love the Rita. Just wish her dress was a little bit smaller. And then the mighty Minotaur which is really cool. Like I said just hate that his stupid feet won't stand up very easily. So I have to get him in a weird position to stand. But both are really cool and I love both of these a lot. So really happy to have them in the collection now. So let me know what you thought of these figures down in the comments if you enjoyed this review let me know with a thumbs up but i want to thank you all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review